Is it the same chicken with a lovely and golden brown? That's cooked, I know. The same old piece is cooked inside. It's the only kind of piece that was left over from the chicken. But you know you could do all sorts of meals from this. You don't have to do a casserole. You could actually dice this now into inch cubes, make a batter. You could have a chicken stir fry. You can even have it laid in tomatoes, tomato and chicken with basil. We can get the flavour. You can there's lots of things in there. Right, beans have already pre cooked pre-cut all the vegetables yesterday and left them in the freezer overnight. I'm gonna do a casserole because I know they want a casserole. But me personally I would have actually gone and cut that into bits, battered them. And done a, stir, uh, done a Chinese stir fry with chicken. What? It's casserole what they want, so it's a casserole what they'll get. I'll get back to you soon. The banana bread is still cooking, but you can see that is beautiful. As they are beautifully cooked, and you could do a lot of nice meals with those. Man. From here onwards, you could do a Chinese stir fry dish casserole and almost and the reason I use that pot when I'm doing a casserole is because all the juice that sticks to the bottom the vegetables will gather up and release all the juice so there'll be nothing stuck in the bottom of the pan and you can see from the little sizes they are what they go left over from the chicken so there's a lot of chicken thighs the little chicken legs bits of the chicken wings thank you keep watching well, there's all the nice chunky vegetables in. Anything that I've just remembered is I've just tipped over my uh, chicken stock and that's peed enough because now I've got to find a chicken stock cube or something because that has annoyed me to drop my stock and it all go everywhere. So I'll let the vegetables soar out in there with a heater while I find some stock. See what we can make up. We could use water. Yeah, I could use some water, I could use a bit of everything, which I will. Garlic, I've got to put in, I forgot. Wait, that is one of my home ground chilies. And then I dry them out. That will go in that. It's so hot, you only need one. In fact, one might be a little bit too much, but that will be more than sufficient. That is so hot, it's unbelievable. That's about one and a half two inches long, but that is dried out, air dried, just hang up like that there, and air dry them. And these are really hot and powerful. I'm just stirring in the flour because I add the flour in separately, I don't flour the chicken. I add it actually add it into the mix, but I want to make sure it's well mixed because the flour sticks and it gets very thick and it burns the food. It stays on the bottom. I've made me a little bit of stock to add in. Add water and a couple of oxo chicken cubes. I'm also going to add some scallions, but I'm going to keep the last half inch of the onion to replant so I can grow another one. But I want to keep mixing the flour up first before I add the chicken and then I'll add the chicken. And then we'll get back to it. Well, I've added some more spices. Lights. I don't know why the, none of the lights are working. The fan light over red fan lights so the lights are gone. The oven lights are gone. The light in the kitchen is dark. I've added some more spices. I've added some chilli some chilli paste, some tomatoes, as you can see this, that is getting really thick with the chilli paste in. I've had some chilli paste, tin of tomatoes, this is ready now for the onions, the chicken, and then just the last little bit of stock to stir in, and then left to simmer for a few hours. I'm not getting a good view at all. Then left to simmer for a few hours. 
I've had all the spices in my car. I've had lots of spices, chili peppers, garlics, cumin, um, paprika, paste, tomato paste, onion powder, chili powder. And of course I've added other, I added the red peppers and the green peppers and you also see my special pepper that I added in which is a burner in fact that's hotter than the hot spicy sauce pepper sauce that makes that pepper sauce like um, as though it tastes like nothing I will get back to you in a few moments well I've added the scallion in I've added all the chicken in as you can see they are I ought to cut some of these chicken there's about 15 pieces of chicken <laughs> well you might get a view of that side now I'm going to have to add the last bit of stock to the chicken because there's a lot of chicken in there just to make the juice come up so it'll cook it tastes of paprika and everything it smells beautiful I'm just going to add the last stock because I'm using a handheld camera I have to keep turning it off and turning it back on I'm just going to add the well I might as well add some I need some boiling water this time so we boil the kettle and I'll add the stock and I'll show you when I've done that. Well, the kettle's boiled. I've added a few more nice spices. I'm going to add a little bit of water now, then I'm just going to gently stir it just to mix the flavours. That's the more, yep, yeah, that should be enough water. I'll show you when I've stirred it. I'm just going to turn it off for a second. As you can see, I've stirred it. And you can see the nice red colour coming out from all the spices and the tomato powder I want to get the chicken down I'm going to make sure there's no flour stuck to the bottom this is a very poor light in this kitchen and considering I've changed the light again one of the small pieces of chicken there's lots this is just full of golden brown chicken absolutely full that's enough to last the girls in actual fact you could even if they didn't want to eat it all at once you could actually put some in pots and freeze it for the perhaps later in the week if you fancy a quick snack that's that done so that's ready now to just cook there's the ends of the onions and I'm going to replant in soil and they will regrow but that's the chicken casserole now left to cook it's going to be now cooking for the next say two and a half hours on a very low, bit low gas so that's finished that's just got to cook now but remember what you don't want to eat or your girls don't want to eat put it in a, a margarine tub a 500 gram margarine tub put you some meat in, put you some vegetables in, put some some of the juices in free, let it cool down then freeze it, you've got a meal for in the week you can actually make meals, actually that could last I suppose one person that could probably last it's about 15 pieces of meat there that probably last you a, a good week and a half one person if you actually took, took them out and froze them we are talking you could freeze like I keep the butter dishes and give them you know like recycling I don't know why because I don't know whether they recycle but you could actually fill those and one single person could actually last well over 10 days with this on their own and if you have guests come you've got a ready cooked meal as well you just take it out thaw it bang it through the microwave and you're doing thank you for watching and I'll show you the banana bread. Thank you.